So in our diagram, you will see we have a global manager, we have a local manager on each side, and the local managers will be connected to the global manager. That's what I'm going to configure in this video. So let's start. First, we need to make the global manager. You can see the DNS name over there, which is DCA GM for global manager. We need to make that active. So let's start doing that. Let's give it a name. And here you can see that it's added and it's active. So our next step will be that we're going to add in the other sites. So here you can see the details for data center A. Um, in order to add it, I need to pull up the thumbprint of the N6 manager or local manager. So let's do that first. And let's copy that over to the global manager. And now we've done that, we can uh, do check compatibility and it will tell you it's the right version and let it save. And at some point you will see that this location or this local manager is actually added. So here you've seen that I've also already added the other ones as well, the DCB and the DCC, and you can see that the status is syncing, and once we've get it, we, we will get a success, um, we're all good. So this, so this can take a while. Uh, eventually, after five minutes, I got a success of all sites, and you can see everything's added nicely. You can also see that from the global manager, you can add, you can go and browse to another manager as well. Now that we have done this, our next step will be that we will go to the, to the local managers and from the local managers where we need to enable the RTIP interfaces. You, know, you need to go to get started. You can see it's empty here, but I need to hit the refresh button. And suddenly after re the refresh button has been hit, you will see that there's an additional option, configure remote tunnel endpoint. So we configure the remote tunnel endpoint. We select all the edges we want to do that for. We select the host switch, uh, team policy we leave blank and we basically uh, well configure the VLAN for our RTAP interfaces. This is one of the prereqs. Um, so let's configure the actual VLAN. I need to look it up what it was. Um, and for me it was for this site A, it's 115. And the IP pool was already created. So and now that's done. Quick and easy. The same step we also need to repeat for the data center B. And let's go to system and get started. And also here you will see that the option is not there. So we need to hit the refresh, the browser refresh. And eventually it will pop, pop, pop up again. And when we configure the the actual uh, RTAP here. Steps are kind of the same. The only difference here is that we use different VLAN and where I use 115 in DCA, I'm going to use 125 in DCB. Um, and I've already pre-configured the, the IV pool. Uh, so let's hit save. And this step also needs to be repeated for the actual DCC.
and for DCC I will use again a new VLAN um, which is 135 IP pool has already been pre-configured and if we take a look at our uh, global manager we can see an overview of what has been done so we can uh, first check out the tunnels and here we can see the RTAP tunnels under the edge uh, that is there and from here we could also uh, change the RTAP configuration but I guess the goal first is to go to the GM and verify our uh, sites if everything is up and running and here we can still see success the thing they're worried about is that the remote tunnel endpoint is not configured here so uh, in order to fix that um, we need to go back to our local manager and in our local manager we need to look at our edge cluster or and in our edge cluster we will see that our edges are added there uh, but for some reason uh, there's also an additional check here uh, for some reason let's go to the edge cluster and if you click on the edge cluster here you can see that the interlocation communication is disabled for some reason there's no way to check turn on and off but there was a way to to kind of reset it so just let's remove the edges from the cluster hit save and let's add them back in and when, we, when we've done that suddenly you see it's enabled and we also need to do this for the other sites so uh, I already did it for data center A and now we just did it for data center B so the last one that's left is the DCB let's uh, go into that lo local manager and do the same thing And also here it's still disabled so let's take the edges out of the cluster hit save and let's add them back in and here you can see my interlocation communication is suddenly enabled so if we go back to our GM And we are going to do the final check, system, location, or system overview. And here in the system overview, we can see, you can see that the remote tunnel endpoints are up for all sites. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will watch my next video. Bye-bye.